Uh, what's, uh, what's going on, Funko fans? Um, thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another episode of Much Pops. Uh, sorry that I seem kind of weird right now, but I really just intended to do a little unboxing video of some cool stuff that I picked up this week. And then I got these two strange packages that I don't really have any idea where they came from and they are both addressed to much pops. As you guys probably already know, I do make these videos and stuff just from my bedroom. So not really sure how somebody got my address. Um, there's not really any like information on the package from who it was sent from. One of them came from Amazon and one of them came from a store I've never heard of. So not really sure what's going to be in these packages. And I can't say that I'm not kind of worried or anything like that, but you know, at least they haven't blown up yet and they don't seem to be leaking any toxic gas. So I mean, that's a good sign, right? Uh, well, either way though, guys, uh, let's go ahead and crack into these boxes and hope they don't explode when I open them. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, here is the first one of those mystery packages that I received, uh, and this one is from a store called Dragon's Trading. It looks like they sell uh, anime toys, Funko Pops, uh, other stuff. I didn't really look too much, I just kind of saw that there and wanted to check it out. Uh, so it looks like maybe we've got one pop in here, uh, I would guess, you know, uh, it's what it seems like it could be. And then we've got this other box down here, this is the one from Amazon. Not really sure what could be in here, but it does have like this warning sticker about uh, batteries or flammables or something. So guys, I really don't know what the heck this is gonna be. And uh, this one, just since it came from Amazon, it doesn't have any sort of like uh, sender information. So I've really got no idea what the heck this is or where it came from. So uh, definitely kind of worried about what these might be. But before we open them up, I do want to show off the other things that I intended to open up for this video today. So let's go ahead and burn through those real quick. Because if these are the last packages I ever open in my life, I at least want to see these things first before I go. So let's go ahead and check out what we got over here. It's some pretty cool stuff. Let's see what we got. All right, so here we got the first package here. This one is going to be from Hot Topic. I'm not exactly sure what this one is. So this could be really anything. I've probably got anywhere from like 10 to 15 pops coming in from Hot Topic, from pre-orders, just from, you know, all over the past couple months. So not really sure. I'm not gonna take a look at the sticker there on the sorter. Let's make it a surprise. I'm gonna show it off to you guys first. Three, two, one. Uh, oh, ho, ho, yes. I actually just ordered this one a couple days ago, so this one came super fast, guys. This is going to be the Diamond Miguel Hot Topic exclusive that they just restocked a couple days ago. So I was actually super thrilled to be able to find this one because you guys know, as I say in almost every single video, I am trying to collect every single Diamond Collection pop. I just happened to be scrolling through Hot Topic's website after I got home from work just to see what was new, and it turns out that they had this one up for uh, sale. It was in stock. It wasn't even pre-sale or anything. So I picked it up and uh, wow, it actually came really fast. And the glitter on this one looks freaking amazing, guys. You can see right here that the red on the coats is fully covered, the face is fully covered. It even looks like the hair is sort of like a auburn, maybe like a purplish kind of, not just brown. It's something interesting there with the hair. And then you've got the blue pants and all the way down to the shoes, every single aspect of this pop is covered in glitter, guys. And you already know that that is how I love to see these. Such a well done pop. Let's see what we got on the back here. So we've got Ernesto, Hector, and then Miguel himself. And like I've said before, I've never seen this movie. Uh, it does look really great though, so one that I'm going to have to check out in the near future. But for now, we've got the pop and he looks fantastic. So, let's go ahead and see what else we got to open up today. Alright you guys, so here we have the second box and this one is coming in from Books A Million and it's actually going to be another diamond pop. I didn't even mean to do this, but we're going to be showing off three diamond pops and then we got those two mystery boxes. So, didn't really mean to do that, I just grabbed three boxes uh, that I needed to open and it turns out they're all going to be diamonds. And this one is going to be... The Jiminy Cricket BAM exclusive Diamond Collection Funko Pop. This one is just like the Miguel, completely covered 
in glitter. I really love the way they did this one. The gold on the shoes looks so sparkly, and then he's got the umbrella there that looks great. You can see his scarf, his top hat, his green coat, and even the rosy cheeks and rosy nose look great on this pop guys i love this one and this is another pop that i would not normally add to my collection but because it is diamond it was one that i had to pick up and i'm actually glad to have this one because it does just look like a great pop they did an excellent job with this one so pretty stoked to have this one and then let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the box here real quick just so we can see a couple of the other figures in the wave there so you got Pinocchio you've got Geppetto you've got the blue fairy you've got Jiminy Cricket himself and then we got this cat guy whose name is Figaro so uh those are the pops that we got on the back right there. And if you wanted to see the little glam, there he is just hanging out on a cloud. Looks really great. But there we have him one more time, the BAM exclusive Diamond Collection Jiminy Cricket from Pinocchio. Let's move on to that last one before we get into our mystery boxes. Here we have the final package before we break into those two unknown packages. And this one is coming straight from the Funko shop. It's been sitting here in my bedroom for a few weeks now. And this is going to be so cool. I can't wait to see this one, guys. This one looks incredible, guys. We have got the Funko Shop exclusive Sorcerer Mickey Diamond Collection Funko Pop. Wow, guys, I really love how this one looks. You know, I saw Fantasia maybe one or two times when I was younger, but for some reason, Sorcerer Mickey always just stuck out to me. I don't really know what it was about him, but I always just loved him as a character. And when I saw that they had a regular Funko Pop of the Sorcerer Mickey, I thought it was cool, but I'm not a big Disney collector, so I didn't end up snagging it up. But uh, when they <laughs> announced this one, I was like, no way, now it actually gives me a reason to have to buy this Sorcerer Mickey. So I was super stoked on this one guys but let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the box you can see there on the back of the box they've got the sorcerer mickey i'm not sure what these other characters are called uh chernabog hyacinth hippo and peter pegasus so not sure if i got those names right but there we have them again guys this is sorcerer mickey from the funko shop and i am super stoked to have this one in the collection all right guys, so we just went through three of the diamond Funko Pops that I had to just open up before we moved on to these mystery boxes And I really have no idea what to expect from these boxes. I don't even know which one I want to open first I'm thinking probably the one here from this uh, toy store, which is Dragon's Trading Company I'm gonna do this one first just because it doesn't have any warnings about batteries and flammables and stuff So I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be a pop uh, And I mean, I feel like it's gonna be the safer of the two to open up first So let's just go ahead and uh, crack on into this and see what we've actually got going on in this box I wonder if there's gonna be like maybe a note or something inside to see who sent this or you know what it was or how they got my address or whatever the heck this is going to be but uh opening it up it actually is pretty well wrapped so let's go ahead and pull it out right here uh looks like there is no note with this one okay hold on hold on what do we got here what is this oh okay so we have the AAA anime exclusive, which is a sticker I have never seen before. It looks really awesome. This is going to be a glow in the dark pop, and this is number 555 in the Marvel line. It is going to be Iron Man Model 39. Take a look at that one there, guys. That is a crazy costume for Iron Man. Wow. All right, let's take a look right there. So we've got him in his suit. He has got gold in the face. This is a black and gold, and it almost looks like lightning shooting through him. I don't even know what that is, but that looks awesome, guys. And then the eyeballs are bluish with, like, white glow. And then even in the hand and the chest, everywhere there's little, like, blue and white specks. And this looks like it is from the 80-year Marvel anniversary, and it is showing the invincible Iron Man there on the back. I don't really know too many different Iron Man suits, but from these suits I've seen, I gotta say this one's probably gonna be my favorite one yet. This is an insane figure. Whoever got this for me, I don't know how you did it, but thank you for sending this. This is freaking awesome. I'm glad it didn't kill me when I opened the box, but I guess you still have one more chance because there's still one more box. So let's go ahead and find out what's in that other box. And then, uh, you know, if, if I'm still here kicking, then we'll move on from there. All right, you guys, so here we have it. 
the Amazon box with the warning label for lithium ion batteries. I'm not really sure what we're gonna find here in this box. Kinda, kinda sweating over here, guys. But uh, here we go, guys. I think we've got it about as open as we can get. So here we go. Oh, I'm kinda scared. To Oh, okay, so it is another pop. Oh, it is actually in a pop. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. Hold on, guys. We got some cool stuff, and it looks like we're not going to die just yet. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you the pop here first, and then we are going to check what else we've got inside of this package. I do not have any uh, exclusives from this company, so this is going to be my very first Chalice Collectibles exclusive. This also is a glow in the dark. Hold on. Okay. Hold on, I know what this is. I know what this is, okay. It's no longer a mystery and I don't think I'm going to die. A few videos ago, I mentioned that my buddy was going to get me a uh, flashlight for glow in the dark. So we got a glow in the dark pop there, a glow in the dark pop here, and I'm also seeing a long box. That's what this, oh my gosh, okay. That's crazy because he didn't even say anything to me like, hey dude, uh, keep an eye out or anything like that. Like I got some stuff coming for you. So I had no idea what, okay. Guys, it's all making sense now. I don't think this is the Illuminati. I don't think that uh, there's anything crazy going on in this. I just think this is from my buddy Brad and it's all totally making sense now. But anyways though guys, let me show you what we got here because this is freaking insane. Like I said, this is my very first Chalice Collectibles exclusive piece and it's going to be Vegeta powering up. And it came in a pop protector too, which is really awesome. So let me go ahead and show you that glam right there. I love that he has the blue flames coming up around him. He's got the blue hair, the blue eyes. This is such a great looking Vegeta figure, guys. Vegeta's always been one of my favorite Dragon Ball Z characters, so it's really crazy that he would've just picked this one out for me without even really knowing that because I don't really talk anime too much. Let me go ahead and just put this away to the side real quick. Let's break out what I'm sure is going to be that special flashlight, and then we gotta get these out of the boxes and check these glows. Finally, we are going to be able to see some glow pops in all of their glory with the correct flashlight to make them just look incredible. I am so excited. Uh, so we got the light all charged up here and I do have Mr. Iron Man out here on my spinner. Let's go ahead and get this light on him so we can charge him up here a little bit. I'm not sure how long you're really supposed to do it. Uh, we've had it on there for probably about 20 seconds now. But as you can see, this is a powerful, strong light. So I think that it's going to be uh, giving off quite a bit of UV rays to this thing to really make that glow stick out. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, there you can see it. Ooh, that looks nice, guys. Look at that. Wow. All right, let's flip it around to the back and see if anything glows there. Let's let's get it. I'm sure that everything, just like on the front of the costume, is also going to glow on this one. We're gonna give it just a few more seconds to charge up there. All right, three, two, and one. Whoa, oh geez, I think the back looks even more bright than the front did. I cannot believe the difference. What was I ever thinking just trying to use my freaking cell phone? This is insane. And even the front of this figure is still glowing really strong. I am just like so excited about this right now. But let's go ahead and check out what that Vegeta is going to look like. All right, you guys. So we've got the Vegeta here on the rotator stand. Take a look at this here, guys. So I've got my uh, tiny little light right here, and I'm going to just flash it on him there for a second. We've had the light on him here now for probably about like 15, 20 seconds. I'm going to turn the light off, and we're going to see if there is any sort of uh, noticeable glow coming from this figure at all. And then we're going to compare what the actual UV flashlight looks like like when you use that instead of just a light like this. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, you can see there, there's absolutely nothing going on, guys. It looks like I'm in a complete black room. So clearly this light has done nothing to activate the glow on this Funko Pop. So let's go ahead and check out what it's going to be like after we hit it for a few seconds here with the UV lights. I'm sure that you can already guess, but I believe the difference is going to be extremely tremendous. Now that we've had the UV light on him here for about 30 seconds or so, let's take a look at what the glow is going to look like once we actually get the lights off. And here we go, guys. Three, two, one, boom. 
Whoa! Look at that! That is insane! So let me actually go ahead and hit the flames down here because they are not actually glowing too much, but as you can see from the hair and the eyes, Wow, so I'm not sure if the flames just don't glow or maybe I didn't hit the flames hard enough with the UV lights. Uh, so let me just hit those there for a second and we are going to see if those actually glow as well or maybe it's just the hair in the eyes. So three, two, one, boom. Oh, okay, so clearly I just missed it, but wow! I thought that the flames were gonna glow too, so I'm super glad to see that they do, but holy crap, that is the most insane glow figure I have ever seen, guys! All right, before I keep gushing, we just need to get on out of here. We need to move on. We need to hit the recap, and let's just get into it, guys. But wow, guys, so those glows looked insane. I cannot believe that I've been trying to do those with my cell phone flashlight for the entirety of my collection. And I just want to say a huge thank you to my man Brad for sending over those two awesome glow-in-the-dark pops to go along with this brand new UV flashlight that he got me. Really going to help bring the content up on this page, especially when we got glow-in-the-dark pops show off because that flashlight just was not cutting it guys it makes such a difference when you use that actual UV light so thank you again so much man I really do appreciate it and with that being said guys he is now back in the box but I have got to say that my favorite pop of today's haul and it's hard because I picked out three great diamonds to show off as well but guys I've got to say that my favorite pop is going to be the Vegeta powering up he just looked so insane with that glow and I just love all the detail that they have on this figure guys here's that glam one more time so you can see all that fire coming up around him those piercing blue eyes and that insane blue hair I love this one so much guys and it is so cool to be my very first Chalice Collectibles exclusive pop. So I am so stoked that he chose this one out of the multitudes of other glow-in-the-dark pops he could have chosen. Great pick, man, and it is definitely my favorite pop of the day. So go ahead and leave me a comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite that we opened up on today's video. And once you've done that, don't forget to give that like button a sexy little spank. And don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. I do try to put out at least two videos per week on Tuesdays and Fridays and I do try to make them as fun and entertaining for you guys as possible so if you enjoyed checking out these new diamond pops these new glow-in-the-dark pops that awesome new UV flashlight that my boy Brad got for me and if you enjoyed watching the peril in my eyes as I thought I may or may not die opening these random boxes from somebody who I had no idea got my address found out where I was found out who I is found out where I live it was crazy guys but if you enjoyed all of that. I really hope to see you guys again soon on the next one.